Button widgets give you a great way of pasting not just an add to basket button, but a panel showing details about the product that the customer is looking at. And this goes one step further than that because it's completely dynamic as well. So it gets all of the information from the Roman cart control panel. So if we take a look at this example in front of us here, uh, we can see this is for a group of SD cards. By default, it shows the 16 gig card. If I change that to 32, then the price updates, the item code and the item name update. Uh, and so does uh, availability if that had changed. Uh, and the customer can click on Add to Basket there, and obviously it would add that item to their basket. There's also uh, social media links underneath. They can share this item with their friends on Facebook, Twitter, and a number of other social uh, media options. And there's an email link as well where they could email one of their friends with details about this item, for example. So, as I mentioned before, this is all dynamic. So when you change the name or the code or the price, on the Roman cart control panel that's instantly reflected on your web pages without you having to make any changes to your website coding. So it's a great way of quickly and easily adding really uh, good looking complex buttons onto your web pages. Uh, this example obviously has got uh, this is a product group uh, product uh, where it's got options of the different gigabyte size of the memory card but um, you can use it with standard products products with modifiers uh, it's it's a great system so let's take a look at how you actually set that up if I flip over to the control panel so if I click on website use button widgets on your website so just follow the instructions on this page, step one, two, and three. You paste this script line before the close head tag on your web page. And then there's a div section that you just paste where you want the button widget to appear. And then there's a script uh, section that you can put at the bottom as well. Now, uh, because this is just off the generic menu, then uh, it doesn't show a product ID. You'd need to change that to the product that you're trying to uh, show. But uh, if I actually show you a product, in fact, for the example that I just showed you, that would be this 16 gig product. If you click on the product, you can click on show me the widget and that information is pre-filled out. Now, you can have multiple widgets per page if you want. All you need to do is have one of these divs for each widget you want to appear. And where it says rock display, you would change that to say uh, for each subsequent one, you might have rock display two, rock display three, and you need one line of this script at the bottom for each of your button widgets that you're using. So again, you would change that rock display to two and three, uh, uh, depending on how many extra button widgets you have. There's other things you can do as well. Uh, this number here in the button widget to call at the bottom, uh, that's the product ID. And if I flip back to the product manager, you can see that each product has got an ID shown there. So that's what that is. And then this final number where it shows zero there, that's the button widget template. So if I just show you that by a zero in there, it will use your default button widget template. But if you go to configure appearance button widgets, you can see there's a number of templates to choose from. There's a default one there, a slimline one there, and you can just use the ID uh, of that template if you want different templates to appear on the same page. Otherwise, just select the default one if you want to use the same template on every page. And if you want to create your own button widgets, the easiest thing to do is simply copy one of our example ones here, click on the action copy icon there. That will copy the widget into your user area and then you can click on open and edit the code uh, as you require. There's certain tags that need to be included and in fact, uh, if you click on that click here to view the fields, it shows you the tags that you need to include. But it's best just to modify one of our example templates uh, and it makes it really easy. There's an image repository there too if you want to upload any of your own images for use on that widget. So I hope you can see that button widgets are a really great way of adding add to basket buttons onto your web pages.